Whoa, a new Fury Best Perks video. Oh yes, my old video is three years old and I've got some new things to say, so let's get straight into it. Now, Storm King's Fury is one of, actually it is the best hardware weapon in the entire game. In terms of damage, in terms of appearance, you got the Meteor Heavy Attack. It is a tremendously fun weapon to use in uh, normal missions and it is absolutely the best pick for the Storm King's Horn in the Storm King fight. It's actually ironic that a lot of people don't look forward to getting the Fury as their first mythic weapon, but in my opinion, it actually makes every Storm King fight afterward a lot easier and it is something that you might want to actually look forward to getting but there are quite a few different ways to run this weapon perk wise so let's get into the different options right out of the gate there are a couple of ways to run it this is the main way that i'm showing right here attack speed double crit damage or double attack speed creating crit damage we'll talk about that later as well there's also a crit damage version which i don't recommend as much but we'll talk about that as well and then finally this is not a topic in most of my videos but bright core versus sunbeam there's actually a little bit of a discrepancy there so i'm going to talk about that at first because it's nice and easy in the storm king fight when you're up against the horn the horn is actually classed as an environmental object which means you're not actually doing any extra damage with your sunbeam copy i know you're, you're swinging 10 percent slower and doing no extra damage so seeing as a storm king fight has been out for like three years now and even if you're a brand new storm king fighter you, you might be able to just run this a few weeks in a row and get multiple copies it's not actually that crazy to have two different copies i feel like a sunbeam copy is great for regular missions maybe you might want to run energy on that we'll talk about that later but a bright core copy specifically for the storm king fight is actually highly recommended because you'll swing 10 percent faster which is not that much in most missions you're swinging about 10 to 15 times so you might get one extra hit out of it but like all things being equal why not make a bright core copy so these are the perks that you're going to want uh, attack speed double crit damage and crit rating is the optimal damage output thanks for watching i'll see you guys later that is the way you want to run it physical for the storm king fight and then versus normal enemies you're not going to want physical versus elemental targets so an energy copy is actually really really good for that instance and then the other way to run it which is what i recommended more in my original video is actually a second attack speed perk which would look like this so double attack speed crit rating crit damage is less optimal normal Normally. So uh, you do want that second crit damage perk. It's a lot more gambling because you have to rely on critting, but it's a lot more consistent to run double attack speed with this. In fact, if you're running Paleo Luna in the lead, she adds 9% of your current health to weapon damage. She is basically the best melee hero in the entire game. She will make the most damage come out of your melee, but it's highly reliant on attack speed. Now, if you're running Paleo Luna, there are some significantly better options than the Storm King's Fury, but if you really want to make this weapon work, Paleo Luna is how you're going to want to run a double attack speed build. Generally speaking, though, I will recommend recommend double crit damage with one attack speed perk. Now, the third way I want to talk about is the uh, triple crit damage version of this weapon. That is if you're just having fun. You are going to need a lot of support perk help. You're going to need a, a commander with crit rating, totally rocking out. This weapon <laughs> it can be fun, but it's very clunky. You see, with one attack speed perk, we're swinging 0.71 times per second, which is not that much. It's very clunky, very slow. It's a lot more damage versus a single target, but it's not exactly recommended. If you're running this in a normal mission, I'd recommend swapping one of these crit damage perks for the attack speed as mentioned, and then you're going to want to get crit rating on there, put that in a loadout with a better melee lead, and go from there. Now that we got our perks set up, let's talk a bit more about how to actually use the Storm King Fury. If you're running it in the Mythic storm king fight i'm gonna link my video down below that gets more into loadouts and specific technique obviously you're going to want the perks that i recommended early on bright core these perks will get you started and then that video will take you from there that is definitely something i uh, recommend watching as this weapon is super super useful for the storm king fight i personally don't run this weapon that much as a regular build but if you are using it let's set it up here let's move me out of the way get me off to the side here i recommend paleo luna that is kind of one of the better heroes in the lead unfortunately it is a hardware weapon so if you want to use like guardian bowl or tank penny you're gonna have to run a constructor in the lead which is difficult because you won't have shadow stance you won't have any of the usual ninja bonuses that are nice to have for that and i, I still feel like paleo luna is one of the better in the lead so we're gonna be running this with our double attack speed build let's go back to the perks and set that up real quick oh yeah i'm gonna spend a bunch of reperk for you guys so instead of triple crit damage like i mentioned you're gonna want probably attack speed let's get crit rating in here so we got attack speed up here and then we got attack speed down here and then i got a very buggy game but you can see double attack speed crit damage crit rating energy this is uh 
uh, what I'd recommend. Typically, with Paleo Luna, you will do more damage with a Bright Core copy. However, this weapon is doing so much damage right now that I'm going for a bit of a hybrid build. I'm keeping it Sunbeam because it's not that big of a difference, and uh, I do actually have some damage perks in here that I want to take advantage of. So, Blast from the Past is absolutely essential for Paleo Luna. If you want more information on ninja loadouts in general, I'll link a video down below. That covers all the topics. You know, you got Assassin Sarah Lead, you got Corrosive Strikes, you got Totally Rocking Out. There are a lot of different ways to go with this. I just wanted to recommend kind of a cursory overview. If you want to see that triple crit damage build in action i'll link that down below as well you can see what i mean when i don't recommend it as much you can see me struggle with it if you want but this is a build i recommend for general use so sorian hide is just excellent because she gives you extra armor makes you harder to kill that's going to be necessary when you're running a melee and then sorian focus is because you want to be using those meteors you want to be charging up hit after hit after hit you get up to about seven hits charge up a bunch of meteors drop that on a crowd of enemies or especially high health target and you will make great use of this weapon you want to utilize that six perk because it's super useful you can also lunge around the map with this weapon which makes it great for utility it can get you stuck out of a jam if you're stuck in a tiny little hole uh if somebody built a bunch of traps around your ride the lightning base then you can lunge out of it which is actually pretty convenient so taking advantage of those heavy attacks will be well funded by story and focus giving you four energy per second and then battle beat is kind of a surprising pick but if you can get 10 eliminations in nine seconds it'll increase your melee attack speed and your overall damage which is amazing in both ways because attack speed improves how well effective paleo luna can be because attack speed improves how much damage paleo luna can output and increase your actual damage really good for the weapon itself and then as mentioned hardware crit rating just to make you crit more often with guardian bull and then actual hardware damage you can see if i actually go back to my uh my copy here you probably saw this earlier but my actual chance to crit is going to be pretty high you can see 56 percent of the time i will be critting more often than i'm actually not critting that's a really really good combo and i, I think that's an especially good way to go that's where you know in a normal build critting that often you might want an actual second crit damage perk but with paleo luna in the lead you're gonna want an attack speed perk so if you wanted to go double crit damage, that's where those Holy Rock and Out builds come into play. That's where you might want Deadly Blade Crash and her Corrosive Strikes, because that'll give you extra snare and affliction. That affliction is a lot of damage. Or, you know, the absolute classic, the best Assassin's Era. Just flat increase to your overall melee damage is super good. Those are excellent picks if you want to run an attack speed double crit damage build rather than the double attack speed Paleo Luna build. So these are just some recommendations. These are just some good ways to make the best use out of your Storm King's Fury. I want to make it noted that the Ravager is, is kind of the better pick for general damage and the storm king fight is, is better suited for the storm king fury i'll link my ravager best perks down below if you guys want to see some recommendations for that because uh the storm king weapons are amazing and i uh, wanted to get you guys set up nice and well thank you so much for watching you know subscribe if you're new i record all these videos on twitch so if you want to come hang out you're welcome to join if you guys want to watch some more videos there's some recommended at the end here and uh yeah i'll see you next time and uh thanks for watching <laughs> Do 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 do